All right, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick video on GPU BIOS flashing. So I bought this video card. This is a AMD R9 380. When I got it, the BIOS are corrupt on it. I've already confirmed that just when you put a game or a load on it, it just crashes. And um, I found out it has the wrong revision of the BIOS. Somebody tried to reflash it. I bought this video card for, I can't remember, $10 on eBay. And for two reasons. Number one, it had the wrong BIOS on it and the guy didn't know how to flash it back. And number two, it doesn't have a fan, but it's okay. It's cold in my garage. I'm not worried about that. And I just need to get these BIOS flashed. So you have a couple of options and a couple of different ways to do this. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to get the BIOS. Uh, you could go to the website over here. Let's see if I can get this on my stand right. There we go. Go to, let's load this up. Tech Power Up website. If I can get that over here. You go to their website over here and through here you can find the BIOS that you need. You can get the software um, on the website. They have GPU-Z, which we'll talk about that in just a sec. It's a program that you're gonna need. And it has the tools for BIOS flashing, which AMD ATI flash, that's what you're gonna need for that. So these are two programs that you're gonna need in order to flash these BIOS. So once you have the software, go ahead and open up uh, GPU-Z. I've already downloaded it and installed it. And what this is gonna do is, this is actually gonna tell you the BIOS information and all that stuff. So now, for the sake of time, the fact that I already have this video card, I have another one over here. It's another one, R9-380X. And this one works fine. The BIOS is fine on this one. I've already flashed it and everything. So what I went ahead and do is, what you can do is, if you had to, and we're not gonna save this one, but if you go over here to the icon, let's see if I get that right in there. And, oh, never mind. There we go. Hit this right below the icon where it says save BIOS and you can save the uh, file that you need. So I've already saved the files for that one. I've named it R9380X. If we can get in there. Yeah. So I've already named it the R9380X. I mean R9380. I don't have an X version. So I already have the good BIOS saved. So now that this is closed, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, and it's recommended that you do it from a separate GPU because if you uh, break this and this is your only GPU, then you're kind of screwed. So I could have used the motherboard GPU. I could have plugged in the other R9 380 and plugged this into a PCI Express slot, but we're not going to do that. That's too complicated. Well, it's not complicated. I'm just being lazy. So, all right. I've already downloaded the ATI, uh, the AMD flash, and you're going to right click it and you're going to run it as a mission generator. Let that open up. So then what we're going to do is you're going to load the image that you want. So I have it saved to my downloads and I have it as the R9 380 right over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put program. Now, the critical thing to remember when doing this is make sure you get the right BIOS for the right card for the right revision. Some cards have different revisions. And if you don't put the right revision in, what's going to happen is when you boot this computer up, you brick the card and then you have to go through another whole process of doing it, which is not too bad. So it's already done it. Successful. OK, now it wants to reboot the computer. Let's go ahead and reboot. And there we go. My graphics card is successfully took the BIOS flash. We go to Tech Power Up Z over here. And I don't know if this comes in, but as you can see before, I try to bring this up a little bit. R9 380 series, four gigs of RAM, and my GPU clocks are reading properly now. They're reading at 800, 1500. Before they were showing um, a lot lower. I mean, they would show 800, 1500, but then they would just randomly just drop down to 300, which it was a BIOS mining card. It's whatever. So now I've officially restored this card and I'm good to use it for whatever I decide to put it in. Um, another thing that I could have to do with this card is I need to just put a fan in it. I could probably order one online, maybe 10 bucks, but I got a bunch of 80 millimeters lying around and I might just pop two right over here and just uh, wire them into one of the uh, ports on the motherboard and I think that'll be good to go. So yeah, it's not going to monitor. It's not going to rev up and rev down based upon the uh, heat of this or whatever. Um, excuse me, 
whatever temperature that it comes up with as far as uh, what it's running at. So it's going to run at one constant speed. But I mean, for a budget computer, it's going to work fine for now. So I'll probably buy those fans, but I won't do that later. So, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to segue real quick. All right, now I can conclude this video. So pretty much my battery died, so I had to recharge it. So very simple on how to flash the BIOS, nothing too hard or complicated. Um, in this case, the card was working properly. It's just you put a load on it, it would die. Now I'm sure it worked fine. We'll test that later at another time. So um, like I said, the other way you can do it is you can plug in a good video card over here and then just flash it that way or run it through your motherboard and flash it that way. Those are two ways to do it. If you do end up bricking the card, plug in the video card over here and just plug it through the motherboard but considering that this one ran i didn't have to worry about doing that so just two different ways to do it so quick easy tip thanks for watching and we'll see what come up next all right so i could end the video just like that just wanted to show that this does work so what i did real quick was i actually swapped out the um, fan coolers real quick from that gpu to this one over here swapped it out so i just want to make sure that everything works properly that the fans ramp like up they're supposed to sensors everything so just to make sure that this works i'd hate to put a video card out there that doesn't work so uh heaven benchmark stresses the mess out of uh, gpus pretty decent from what i found and i've always found this a good reliable tool to let me know that if i have a problem with the video card so before i would go into the screen and it would just crash so not too bad it works no issues it is fine so yeah real simple so GPU flashing, very easy, very simple to do. Um, key tricks to remember, make sure you have the right BIOS. The, having the right BIOS is the key. Um, I've actually in the past have used the wrong versions from a different make and I've actually ran into some, some issues. So if it's FXX, use FXX, ASUS, use ASUS. Yeah, just be careful when using the BIOS and mixing them. Some, I mean, sometimes you can get away with using different brands, but I haven't had that luck over here. So just to recap real quick, get the right BIOS, flash them, uh, tech GPU, uh, tech power up. I'm gonna put their link below in the bottom. Great tool if you need to uh, bring some of these old mining video cards back to life. So this video card is good to go. I'm sure it'll be a Fortnite legend for my legendary floor Fortnite computers for the budget people. Just joking, but it'll play pretty good. So um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Your opinions, um, stories that you've run into, and yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see what we come up with next.